nikakuwa nafanya najiuza kwa wao nikaanza kujiuza kwa wao wa madom roommates they give me 100 reals each sometimes wengine 50 wengine wana bayavu mzuri mzuri then na mnaongea pia na cameraman wakati nafanya hizo recording naambia azime hiyo nini pia mimi namshughulikia pia Hello and welcome to another episode of Tuko Talks. My name is Yvonne Kawira. Today I am joined by a very amazing man. He has been to the Gulf countries to look for greener pastures, but while there he experienced some shocking shocking experiences that he's going to share with us today and he's sharing so that we can learn one or two lessons even as you prepare to go there or when you're there and you're trying to figure out how to survive in Gulf he is here and he'll share that experience with us. Karibu sana Collins. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Collins Aura de Velocio mm -hmm. or my nickname you can call me Mama Wasoweto. Mama Wasoweto. Eh Mama Wasoweto <laughs> because that role na tafuta kazi ya role ya ku act oh. na kuka pia pale jakana na jukana kama, kama Mama Wasoweto. Mm -hmm. Nilianza pale kuingia nikitetea wana girls pale pale jakaranda. Mm -hmm. Serikali shughulike nao na pia i ikumbana na wale ma agent fake ma broker sasa hata kama brokers mm -hmm. then hata kama ni broker lazima akuwa ku registered na pia shughulike pia na watu wengi pia alafu then usi mambo ya commission mm -hmm. kuna wengine wazi enda gulf juu they do not have the commission so kabla ufike mahali uliamua kwenda mm. saudi mm. what had happened in your life how was your bringing umetoka mm. wapi family kwa wapi mimi mm. ni afrika state mgana na mkenya but nimekaa uganda most of the time okay. so nilikuwa nasomea uganda nikafa class 6 Miku fa class 6 by ngoa kuyanga Kenya natembea tembea kidogo then narudi. Okay. Sawa so, wakati huo nikaona my mother she used to work in Saudi Arabia from 2000 ametembea Lebanon wapi mm -hmm. in, mo, in most of our families we used to go even in UK where where. Mhm. Mm Mimi wako natuma pesa. Nimeangaika nimeteseka mpaka nikajua kweli life in this world you must be hard work lazima ujitume. Mm -hmm. Na usipojituma in this world watu pia watakutuma. Yeah. You can become a thief, a gay, a prostitute, any kind. Me, I used to come in Kenya, nafanya kazi za nyumba, narudi. Nikaona no. My uncle used to work in South Africa. So, haka kuja, nika mbe mi uncle, mi mabashuli menishinda. I do, I do not have enough money to go to school. Sometimes kukua na drought, usha go, kukua na iyo. Unalala ncha. So, mi nika mm -hmm. sama, let me try for my best. At least niombe poverty kwa maisha angu, stay kwa tuongo na angaika. My family na angaika. Let me try my best. And me, kutu mindo, do last born. Mm -hmm. My father had four wives. Mimi nikaamua wacha anko yangu ni mfuate tu Kampala akaniprocessia kila kitu by three weeks kila kitu ilikuwa okay tukaenda South Africa and me when I started working in South Africa I was at Limpopo province when I was working in Limpopo province mm -hmm. life it wasn't easy for me as a foreigner do you know you find like for example I used to live in with the community known as vendor mm -hmm. so do you know you must teach yourself the language then me I was very clever in terms of books in terms of catching the language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really got a job of harvesting some foods, a gardener. After all, then I went and became a nurse. But I didn't study that nurse. Mm -hmm. I used to wash, to wash all, older people. After that, after that, I saw that like, no, not in Vena. Let me go to Gatwing province in Soweto. When I started working in Soweto, do you know it wasn't easy? Mm -hmm. You find somebody telling you, hey, how would you survive in this Soweto, this xenophobia, this is it. Yeah. So they say my friend was a Zimbabwean. He told me, if you want to survive in South Africa, you must at least become a gay because it was being legalized by the by the government. At that time. Yeah. They used to do it, but it wasn't open. So me I decided when Nikamwa ku mpatesku ya kwanza, uyo ilikuwa nilipata mzungu. But I must na juu kiwa kama virgin unaskia uchungu when when he slept with me so that and the pianyumba ni kaya kuake ni kule food ni struggle. Mimi nikaamua lazima nifanye nini nijikakamue. Mhm. Mm Nikakaa South Africa like for one good year. Mimi niko na nimeboeka then unajua pia lazima ulipe anko pesa zake. Mimi nikamlipa nikamwacha huu. Kuna zeni kabaki nazo kidogo nikarudi home. Uganda ndio life nikaanza anza. Mimi Kenya 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 nikaangalia nikaona mimi kumi nibo. Nikarudi tena. So after returning to my home, do you know people they start neglecting you because you don't have money. They have eaten your money, you have given your money, you have come broke. I decided to go to Kampala and start working as a as a gardener and as a cleaner mm -hmm. in in a, in an arab house yeah. there were nubians they migrated from sudan they used to stay so me when i i got the the nubian who kijana who kijana who mdosi akani akanikamwambia 
Hata mimi natamani kuona ni kwani waki akisema Saudi Arabia. Mimi I didn't like Saudi Arabia is like United States of America. Mm. It's like wow you can make money because my mother I really thought eh hey, she's in United States of America she's working very well. Then I didn't knew they were they were Muslims. Me I really thought they are like, like like mixture. Even though I thought they were, they were black people there then in terms of weather the weather is cool and and wet. Mm -hmm. The Arab man wala ya moko ni process hizo ikuni process ya good conduct nini eh Uganda iko free kwa mambo alikuwa analipa mimi nikaamua kujipa nikampatia mwili wangu nikamshughulikia akani process ya haraka kwanza alinifanyia haraka sana hata sijui hata sema tu ni Mwenyezi Mungu hata bisi kujua mambo ya ofisi mimi nikojua ah najua na rukaru juu najua niko sawa alafu najua pia lazima ende kwa village uchanjwe they must do to you those their rituals as you know we believe in those things mm -hmm. when you, you see those elders elderly women who waku waku pike mimi nikaamua but unajua pia lazima uweke imani kwa Mungu au uweke tu imani uombe tu mimi nikajua na survive kama South Africa niliweza tulivana kutoka South Africa ni xenophobia mm -hmm. they started burning off the Nigerians with tires we can decide mm -hmm. then South, Saudi Arabia money it has a little bit of value the real they have a little bit of value than than the rand mm -hmm. When I decided to come to fly to Saudi Arabia, I came to the airport. But and before we enter Saudi, you know, some people come in that are this traditionalist. Eh. Hey. Eh. Hey. Is that like a a cultish? What? Can you explain to me what what that is and in a significance? Gani kwa kwa kwa? Mm hmm. Una juu yu signifies. Mm hmm. Ina change. Kuna vile umama naza kumbi usi ende sahi. They see. They are like we can see diviners. They see. Kuna mwenye kumbi ya utenda. Mambo bayi takutendike, then he takes your hands, does like this. They are they, they are fake, but they, they are who are real, but you must pay them well. Mm -hmm. So, will you end up with how you fit uh, you? They you tell me, you, you, are, you are a very hardworking kid, will survive there. But the way the woman looked at me, mm -hmm. he told me, when I want to be an honor, 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 I want to be an honor. Mimi ni kama zamu marabu marabu safi zake for three good weeks. Alafu kwenye juu lekia ni ni vitu mzuri mzuri. Niki fanya kazi ya kilina na mguu na umu umu marabu kipigi vipicha. Mimi ni katika zamu kila kitu photo ni ni ata training kuwa katoni kuwa ni three weeks. And that time I was I was even young. Nika enda yata baya port dege kanza from here to Ethiopia, Ethiopia to Riyadh. Nika land dosi kani chukua tu kanza process. Niko nyesho niki ya kuadam. Nikona wa Kenya wa Ethiopia wa kina nani so kazi yangu ilikuwa ni huo mtu kama alikuwa broker mm -hmm. juu wakati wote sijui ni kama nipitia mlango wa nyuma mimi sikushughulika mm -hmm. so kazi yetu ilikuwa ni kuclean wanda mnapanda kukuta mnachukua kitu ya kama kitu ya wifi mnapanda hizo ngazi mnaosha ukuta mm -hmm. na unajua ukuta kuosha vile kwa risk when you fall you have died mm -hmm. then pia mnatulako mpelekwa wanapelekwa pia kwa hoteli mnaosha osha so the broker gets more more money than But us. Doing the hard work. I am doing the hard work. Mimi nikajikaza nikasema mm. sa unajua Mwarabu sasa umuonyeshe wewe ni kichwa ngumu. Then do you know with us men una kuna vile unasikilizana then unafanya kazi yako unajeni una una, una jipa. Mhm. Mm nikaanza kufanya nikalipa mshahara mara ya kwanza I felt wow list and then kana nika deposit. Unajua naweka kwa yangu katu uko na account direct. Mm. Unatuma tu niingia da. Mimi mm. nikajua ningekuja Kenya ndakuwa nda nita aniki kutoka Uganda ndakuwa na kujia mizigo Kenya mitumba na zipelego ko na pika mabuyu kashata because I like cooking most of the time and doing acting videos nini kasema ah life mzuri na kuja it wasn't easy in Saudi Arabia we used to work we used to work kazi ilikuwa unafanya kazi ato nila masamani kwanza siku zaidi ramadhani unafanya kazi kuili kuili mika fika maali kwa yo domu nikaanza kujipatiana kwa hao wa Nigeria nini ndio nilikuwa nakufanya udisi juu nilikuwa na hiyo tamaa unajua hiyo tamaa ni mbaya tamaa ya pesa mm. tamaa ya nini tamaa ya pesa then unajua utaki ile poverty unitaka kuifuku kuifukuza na mimi naambiaga mtu usione ati jua ati malaa nda kujuza pale nikwenda kwake si kupenda kwake nda kutoa ile shi na nyingine pia mtu anaona a a siwezi wacha shida ito na imagine hata sikujua mimi hata sasa siko mgonjwa niko sawa I'm HIV negative. Nikakuwa nafanya najiuza kwa huyu nikaanza kujiuza kwa wao madom domates. They give me 100 reals each. Sometimes wengine 50, wengine wanabaya vitu mzuri mzuri like hizo kubus, those laban, 
Sometimes mimi na akili yake mzuri. Then mimi namuongea pia na cameraman wakati mfanyizo recording. Naambia azime hiyo nini? Pia mimi namshughulikia pia. Na pia tuli we cooperated with, with that thing. Baka unaona unafanya kazi ya garden baka unajua mara bongo alikuwa amenipenda sana because mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi. Mimi kwa kazi nilikuwa nafanya kazi. Mimi nikiamua kufanya kazi nimeamua na nimeamua kujipa. Juu naona ile shida niko nayo wacha tu nijikaze. Mimi naye kwa mateso si kwa ile mateso sana tili unaweza sema ile na unanga maladies wanapitia huko Gulf. Mm -hmm. Na mimi nilienda na mimi naambia mtu nilienda na sitaki kudanganya mtu. Wakati unafanya hii kazi ya kujiuza mm. are you feeling guilty are you feeling ashamed how are you feeling unaweza You know mm -hmm. at first time in South Africa I felt like I was ashamed but ikafa mali nikazoea. Even mm -hmm. my Zimbabwean friend told me na bitch my friend told me but we being used to it nivyo you mara kwanza it was painful i felt like no mm -hmm. you unajua you are a man pe you kuendesha ni shida then pe unatuma pesa nyenye msa nikona akaniambia okay so unatikia kia watu nyumbani eh nikaona kweli hata naona kweli nyenyanga ananiambia shamba naona ngombe zimeongezwa nini nini najua ah she's okay with that mm -hmm. i know in in in, in uganda we gonna become rich because you know when when you send the reals to uganda and shillings it become more mimi nikajua nikikuja nikikuja uganda will be very rich living like celebrities like diamond mhm mm mimi nitakuwa like nikitembea pale nitakuwa niki hata kidogo na naweza ningekuwa nafikiria hata yote nilikuwa na dream ya kwenda Canada going to Canada doing videos because i like doing that most of the time working in english and doing even some some african heritage like i can teach myself how to speak i can speak when i can do their their video mm -hmm. even in kikuyu in ganda in luya most of the time me like speaking to luya because I was used to make but I like speaking because it's impassionate mm -hmm. and in Vanda. Mimi nikafanya kazi za Saudi Arabia wakati nilikuwa nafanya kwa rais ni kujikaza. Mhm. Mm mimi nikasema nitajipa na nitajiuza. Na mimi na I speak to I know Kenya is being localized mimi naweza nifanyia. So nikaamua wacha nifanye kazi. Ikafika mahali mpaka mdosi anatuharakisha unajua hizi bishana mimi I just look at you when you talk I keep it on in my heart. Kunsingine mimi Ethiopia kajibu kupigana na mdosi. Anamwambia tu yeye sijui ni 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 ni. Who are you? Anaanza kumtukana. Juu ametelesha mshahara kidogo. Mm -hmm. Na you know we have of we being overworking. Even resting hours they are less. We over work more hours. Rest is less you. less. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. Juno he called us to the top of the of the building. The Ethiopian boy was being pushed. Kamka chini akakufa. So like kesi hapo. Na ujue ungeenda kwa polisi useme nini nini. Mm. Because kuna watu walifanya kwa kasema. So ilikuwa kama ili ifunzo kwa hiyo. Eh kwetu tulionyeshwa. I love my I love there I'm trying to communicate with my mother sikuwa na namba yake. Kakuwa na jipa na jipa. Kiarabu sikuwa nongea Kiarabu sana but in terms of kubu slaban hizo mm -hmm. nini. Na ngana sasa kama sisi kulikuwa tulikuwa naitwa mboy. Ju sisi ni vijana usana nani shagala. Mhm. Au unaweza muita kadama it depends with way mdosi wako na ana Kiarabu yake. Mhm. Mm mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi vile nilikuwa na Tanzania Saudi Arabia hati ni pale penye kweli kuna mvua mvua nini is a desert place desert place ndio sawa pia alikuwa akinipeleka mali tuna travel like Jida Medina mm -hmm. but Mecca huwezi inge kama wewe Islam na mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi juu najua naweka pesa najiuza kama ni kujiuza hata ki sleep even with five men in a day yeah so anapaka tu mafuta kwa kitu yake sometimes wanakuambia to leak so ni kweso ikuwe soft Unajila, una jela una ni pesa unatafuta you are risking your life ujui kama ukimwi itakushika but unaambia tu Mungu nisaidie hii kazi natafuta na Mungu unaona ile maisha nimepitia nimepitia nikamaliza contract hata vile labda mbili zisha mimi hata sikujua i didn't knew then unaona unaona hizo vyakula za warabu unapenda hizo manjera makubus hizo kisra mimi nilikuwa napenda tu sana mpaka hadi hata kuna kutoa nakuta mpaka na wasuduko nilikuwa najikaza so wakati nirudi home tu entebe unajua tunarudi Dubai ndio tuna elekea entebe mhm mm nikarudi nikakana na kae nikakuenda kuangalia nikapata kwa account pesa kidogo tu imebaki ndani wakati ulikuwa Saudi ulikuwa ukituma na specifically una instruct weke kwa account yako yule hata ulibesi alikuwa anatuma mpaka na confirm mpaka oh, okay. shoshu maishoshu ananiambia ni he was a good man hata kwa ilifika na mali kachukua kutumia account yangu yeye ndo anatuma direct kwao mhm mm so ulikuwa sure kulikuwa na doho ah juu maishoshu kimpigia sema anakuambia imefika mhm anti ananiambia imefika kule Uganda eh imefika eh mimi hata sikushughulika. Hata sijui tu mimi mambo ya bank mambo ya nini. Ni ndipende ni kudisitu mara tu moja na ni hivyo. Jumo araba nilipenda sana. Kwa kunipenda na nilipenda lakini pia akiamua ku change. 
you never like it. Mm -hmm. The MPI was the greatest, he was resembled to the greatest prostitute gay. But when I go on a Kimbuing, you know, you can come to a cause of the river by making boys, you have to go to Canada to Malaya, see what on a Pia to Malaya. Nick, we need a penny Kujitakia, come and me love and Kujitakia, the Pia Ku, Kuji, Kuji expose, say the one in the court by force. Nina take a man as you have fine. Able to elicit what happened to Viloli land, Uganda, after we were contracted for Kule Saudi. See, I was watching my reason, I am Dosi. Some do see the Maliza can if Sidia Paki Pekat of Tudor, Petit Mani to Rogo Yvi, Minica Maliza, Karudi. So no one at one and Yangalela for their speaking. There, eh, I'm a Rudi, eh. Kumo Meshakula Pesazan, I miss you. What are you going to say? Mina John and Bishu, I should show an empire. I bought a land, this and this. Mira Sibona Shuna Bank Sedmin, Ju Bank Sedmin, Zilipuana Ule. To expect Kuna Kama, how much work account? Ju vile kwa natumia ni kasama 300,000, 300,000. Ju wakitumia tumia kukula, nini ufanya mambo zao, lazimu pia ujirembeshe. Mini kajua 300 za bagi kwa kaunti yangu, ni kuja na kuchua mitumba Kenya na kuzipele kanga. How much money was there in the account? I found like 50. 50. Ilikuwa tabati. No, anasewe ingini menda wapi? Si walianza kuniampia, ukuwa nda rajena nene kweke pesa. Mimbaka na feeling sometimes that I never tell you that Kim, me ni mwanamume ni mjikaza, I'm strong. Ni kasi mwa chini kujia Kenya, ni kujia Kenya. To twenty ni wakati ulikuwa twenty ten. Ni kaju ni shule, ni kanza class one, pa class eight. Ni malizi ni class eight. Class eight ni mazoto ni seventeen. Mazoto ni seventeen. Kenge shule ni kasi mwa sume kwa uliye kidogo mimi mshimi kwenye kwa mwenye kwa uliye kwenye rubi. Kwa uliye doctor mwenge. Ni wale mmaliza ni kamaliza twenty twenty. Na shukuru mungu alini saidia. At least now I can speak English. I'm clever. I'm sharp. Do you ever mm. look back now and regret? Zile vitu kwa kufanya ukiwa Saudi. Ata ukiwa Saudi. Ata ukiwa mahali baka di unaanza kuota. Even you. Ilifika pia mahali. Unasiku nilipuwa nimesota. Mm -hmm. 2012. I, I was in class class 3. So. Nikapata mtu ngine buru. Akalala na mimi. Yo. Ikabitu nijipati. Jusi ilifika mahali. Yo. Zwa ndi of. Mkamisa fadangwa kwa nasa hiyo nakazi Compensated with him with man at least Na kujua pasapa ni metuna Jupe wezi kwa muambia You can just go on telling your people that you are gay Because even people they can violence you Mi lefuka matina kasema Wacha tu ngangane na hii kazi Si raisi but Mwili yangu mimi nishazo ya miata sa hii Mimi sikuwa na efekti yote Ate hiyo kwa kati paibu mimi Mi ya rana kuneru kama kwa hida Nini ya kuna fikia mafikuna hini pia ujazo ya But Mi sa hii mwili yangu kuhivu But mwili wachananga na umambo kabisa Kasema ni mamo kokoka. Nasitaki mambo mingi. Ni meamua tu hivyo. Naweza tele. Naweza ambia mayang youth. Na mayang ladies. Onyo wana wana wapiga umalaya. Aina benefit. Juu. Naweza wapila na mtu labda. Upate mtu ala alena wea kose kulipa. Labda mungina ala pija alena wewe. Kumbi he was targeting for you to sacrifice you. Where would you start? Ate iru. Uchukwe mabuza kuende uze. Uchukwe atakama ni kazi yako. Ate iru. Mimi unajua mimi ni kiona mtu amejituma kutoka akienda Saudi akituma kieta hata akienda wapi hata hapa 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 hata hapa unaitwa ngwa hapa Egypt au hata South Africa na unanga huo mtu kuna ile courage na kuna kitu imemtuma mm -hmm. I can I can see this mpatia bad comment or good comment mimi naambia tu Mungu amsaidie pale anaeleke mm -hmm. ujuu na muombea mm -hmm. you god at that like let's say mnaanza ndio process mambo yakafunga kazi ngine kafungu na mimi naambia mtu ina depend Saudi Arabia ni we mwenyewe vile umejitolea na pia Mumbe ni unangukia. Don't trust the agent. Don't trust the process. Trust, eke imani yako kwa mungu. Na wambie mungu. Mungu mungu minanda kutafitia ototo wangu. You because agent they are liars. They lie to you are going to this work. You go to another work. Na wakati umeamua ku open up na kushare history yako. There must have been a reason behind it. Nini na kusukuma kutaka kukwa public about experiences. Zako na lessons ambazo umelearn from Saudi na South Africa. Na South Africa. Neza, me, yu tama yangu li linifanya ni mifiki hapa. Jupe zangu li kuluwa, I was working for the people, I wasn't working for myself. So we una regret? Me, I regret. Kutumia, njia ambazo li tumia kupatia. Aya, njia mbaya. Yu kuwa raisi, si ujisa hizi unalela na wanaume mtu li namba yu kitu yake. Alafu na imaji unajua mbaku unalia. So kwa saizi vile umesha story yako, with the lessons zenye umelani, na experiences zako vile umepitia ukiwa, all those countries zenye umewaka. Now you need someone to support you, maybe get a second chance at life. Yeah. Maybe kwa acting, maybe kwa, kwa kuenda, okay. at a window, another country. Mm. How can these people reach you? 
wanaweza ni kuna kuna namba yangu 07 mm -hmm. 46 40 6185 or you can call me 011 27 59 090 Mm -hmm. au sana sana unaweza nitafuta pale B center pale B center kuuliza tu mama wetu sana sana jina jilikana kama mama wetu because nafanyaga videos and dramas na pia najulikana pia pale Jakaranda hata ukiniuliza tu Jakaranda kupeleka pale pia mimi nilipo na pia mm -hmm. na kuanga na ile mimi kwenda unajua mimi naambia mtu kila kitu ni kujaribu mm -hmm. mimi kama sasa mimi ni mama wangu nime nime change sasa nafanya kwa vitu mbaya basi sasa kazi ya nyumba mm -hmm. kazi ya nyumba ndani sitaki Wacha tena nijua hata nafanya kazi acting au mtu akinipeleka huko anipeleka na tourist visa ni itembeni ru na serikali nifuatilie. Na pia mtu amtana amenipenda kunifanyia mambo ya audition kama kwa Kenya Theater kwa KBC because napenda kwa kwa sana sana kwa KBC, KTN, Citizen na mtu anatafuta vacancy. Hata kama ni audition hata kama atanataka tu mahali anikuje pale B center naweza mfanyia moja. Kama atanikubali ni sawa kama sikunikubali ni mm -hmm. So uko na some of your skits umefanya kwa YouTube. Mtu akitaka kuona some of the things you can do anaweza ka visit YouTube channel yako angalia pale. Eh, anaweza visit but sijaifanyi vile ile ile tunaulizaka kama nimevaa dera. Mhm. Hiyo. Bado najitaka tu mama zetu because I can do because I like acting as a mama. Mm -hmm. Correcting correct, correcting children hiyo ndio role. Correcting children they should be living in a systematic manner mm -hmm. way discipline respective and living in, in an african african heritage way manner and core values mm -hmm. so that wasi wasi pukane na zile tunapitia huko then they should preserve our culture and you can get why transform from one generation to another mm -hmm. to another mm -hmm. like for example serikali na fai kuiki you unapata sisi watu wadogo tunateseka sana ki saudi na hizo Gulf countries. Mm -hmm. Na pia wengine ni bahati tu. Ukiona mtu amerudi akiwa mzima si rahisi. But says he given a second chance when they are a different country. Mm. Ama hata urudi hiyo Qatar. Do you think you will take the same path in which you call when the first time given all these lessons that you may umepata? Ama But, what different choices would you make ukirudi kule? I mean kwa maarufu fanya kazi yangu hata mimi ni kwa sababu single stack stress. Ni kufanya kazi yangu, nifungua account na pia niki ipati pia mtu kunielimisha. Mm -hmm. Unaambia hata my agents mkijua mnapeleka watu usikonsidere pia kupeleka watu haraka. Muelimishe bila bank pesa yake. Mhm. Mm Wewe kitu mnafanya mshamba za training visa imeshatoka kwa sitikiti na sitikiti za like 3 days. Wafundishe ku bank, walete ID ni kila kitu. Na pia mtu mtu yao kama ni ule second nani second 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 nani second mtu wake. Mhm. Mm Asi chukua asichukue pesa yake. Hakuna ile maximum anachukua na pia hakuna ile account ya kuchukua na kuna ile account ya kuweka unaweka unajua fanya biashara juu kuna nyingine hata Saudi Arabia mtakufanya fanya biashara kubwa umejenga makorofa fanya mambo mbili tatu but kupata hiyo pesa kwa Arabu Arabu kwa pesa yake umefanyia kazi and that's but, the reason umeamua ku share story yako so that at least uta educate hata wale wana prepare eh, kwenda huko amwe anachelesha kuenda mm -hmm. me wish i give them courage because si binadamu ana anapanga maisha mtu ni, ni Mungu. Mm. Na Mungu anaweza sema labda huko 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 ndio home. Huko ndio ndio good luck yake inapatikana. Huko ndio gold yako utarokotia huko. Yeah. Na pia usifanye vitu mbaya mbaya. Ukipata pia mdosi mzuri usikimbui. Fanya kazi yako hivi vizuri. Mdosi anakupata chakula mdosi anakutekea. Na pia ukipata na shida pigia agent wako. Na pia agent mkipigiwa simu mshughulike but usitumie broker. Broker ni mbaya. Thanks Collins kwa kukubali kushare story yako na sisi na ku educate Kenyans mm. hata wale wanatafuta kwenda Saudi ama other countries kutafuta vibarua huko mwapatia tips hapa na pale kupitia experiences mm. zako so that they know what to do and not what not to do mm. and there you are that has been the story of Collins if you're in Kenya and you're planning to go to Saudi to look for a job please use his experiences so you can make an informed decision on what steps to take and what steps not to take if you're there and you have a job you would like to offer him he's currently looking for a job or a boost in his business or an opportunity to work abroad please reach out to him through the numbers that we shall put on the pinned comment and talk to him let him give you some of the things that he can do and how you can help him achieve his dreams and thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show see you next time